Right, we're here with the Tottenham fan. What's your name? Uh, Tom. Tom from Philadelphia. Tom from Philly. You've flown all the way from Philly, or what, what's going on? Here Tell me. Spurs game. Really? Yeah. Uh, how long you been a Spurs fan? Five years. Okay, what made you become a Spurs fan? Bad choice or good choice? Bad choice. I love pain. <laughs> he loves pain. Well, you've chosen the right club. I sure have. What do you think of today's uh, today's match? Amazing game. Right when I'm losing faith in the club, they always pull me right back in. Performance like that, amazing. Love it. Skippy working hard always. Hoybier, great assist to Kane. Great finishes from Son and Kane. Probably the best finish I've seen in person. Could be goal of the month. Yeah, oh, that's, Yeah. no, I, you're not wrong with that one. Just an amazing performance from the team. Couldn't be happier. Really? Yeah. I think you're the only one that's come out here and said an amazing performance. Everyone has said how crap this team is and how crap they're playing. We have been crap the last month. The draw against Milan, the draw against Southampton Everton was hard. yeah Southampton. But this was a great game. No perf no complaints about this one. Yeah, look, I think it was one of the most exciting games we have watched. I mean, look, at the end of the day, three points is three points. Whether you scrape by with a one nil, you get the two one. So where do you think the the changes need to be made? Because you guys are sitting kind of fourth, fifth, sixth all the time. Yeah. I mean, you're optimistic. So would you change anything? Is a better question. I mean, the truth is the formation doesn't work. Um, with the way we play, the wingbacks are too important. And Pedro Porro, he's great, but he doesn't make the team. Perisic, he's getting old. He doesn't make the team, certainly. Like, he's all right. I but think he's been a game changer for you guys. He's been okay. Like, he hasn't been a bad player. He's been giving six out of tens. But with the way we play, we need our wingbacks to be giving eight, nine out of ten performances. And he doesn't do that. Yeah. So the thing is, we need to switch to maybe a four at the back. But Dyer's weak. We can't have our um, Parasic play there. Did you play with wingbacks? You just play with a straight four? Yeah, either four or with wingbacks. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm not a manager for a reason. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, I don't know. I think w whether we bring in Potch or whether we bring in someone else really matters for where we move as far as tactically, but there's a lot of good young players we can build around. It's just we need to keep having performances like this and not the performances we've been having. I agree. And where are you guys finishing this season? I want to say fourth, but probably fifth. Okay, not bad. You'll take Europa League. Yeah. Nah. Again, average average result, nah, nah. average answer. Nah, nah, Go on, come in and tell me. Uh, listen, listen, listen. I sported Tottenham my whole life, yeah? We've had, we've had an owner for over 20 years, yeah, in Levy, and we've had one trophy. Levy out. Is the Audi Cup a real trophy? No, nah, the cat. Oh, I can tell you you're American because you don't know about the... Not American, you know of about, course, I know. Uh, but, yeah. Whatever. You know about Carling Cup, yeah. but regardless, until that system changes, Levy, he brings down this kind of layer of um, doubt within the players. Constant doubt. We, we get a new manager in, a season goes by, we get rid of him. Yeah. We make bad signings. It doesn't work out. It's true. We've got Harry Kane and Human Son, the two of the best players in the world, but we can't build a side around that. And soon, those two players are going to be gone. They're going to be either too old to play or they're going to go to different clubs. Yep. And we need to completely rebuild. In 2018 or 2019, Champions League final. Yeah, 18. And we, 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 18, so yeah. we, we, didn't, we didn't build on that. We've never built on that. And these kind of results where you beat Brighton 2-1, yeah, it's all good and whatever, but we are... There's so many changes that have to be made. We've got this amazing stadium. It's true. Amazing stadium, but it doesn't mean anything unless you're winning. Like, Premier League football or top-class football, whether it's La Liga, yep. Serie A, Bundesliga, it's about winning. And the changes have to be made, the investments have to be made properly to bring in those players to build a decent side. Otherwise, City... I hate to say it, Arsenal. They might win the league. They, hopefully they don't. <laughs> but those kind of teams will keep pressing forwards and Spurs will just, unless the investment's there. Yeah, I agree. They're average. It's I not mean, good enough. You guys have, look, you guys can go get a win. Why is, like you said, there's no consistency. You guys, have a, no, strong, no, you guys have a strong enough team. It's mentality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every manager has you know come in and he says it's mentality. You know where that mentality comes from. Is the top. It goes from the top bottom. That, see, it goes all the way down. Yeah, and that drains, no, right. It drains into the players because they know, oh, we're not going to get back up here. Oh, we need another left wing back. Yeah. Let's get a really decent one in. Doesn't happen. You've got players like Dan Juma who we signed. Only just been brought on. 
You've got players like Dyer. Yeah. You've got players like Lloris. Five years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've been talking Listen, about who is it? I don't know how old, how old are you, bro? I'm 17. So look, not that long ago, you remember you would have been a bit younger. We had Vertonghen, Alderweireld, yeah. Walker, Rose, Dembele in the middle, Rose like too. Ericsson. None of that's been replaced. So until that happens, which you fix. need money, yeah. which Levy won't spend. I can't see much coming from it. It makes sense. Guys, it's the same tune we're listening to from all the Spurs fans. Yeah, yeah. You're going to need to make a bigger stand. You're going to need to make a bigger but impact from those fans. One thing I would fans. say is that Arsenal could win the league, but their fans are all soft as, I'm not going to swear, soft as... And, Fill in the blank. And, and we are a real club. Like, you look around, this is a real, real club. But it goes, my, go. dad's, my dad's 69, he's been coming for his whole life. Yeah. This is proper, it's a proper club. We need to be doing better. And the fans deserve better. Exactly. Like I said, I'm 29. You know me. And you know me. And all I've seen is up, down, up, down, lack of investment. And it, it needs to change. You're right. It needs to, look, we spoke with the Enoch guys and they said the exact same thing. It seems to be, you need to make a bigger stand. You need, something needs to happen because this yeah. is just boring. Yeah. Look, yeah. here's right. the thing with Tottenham right anyway. now. Guys, in, thank you so much. Thank you. One last quick thought. The failure with Tottenham is Levy, it's Enoch, it's the board. Get them out, we start winning like that. There we go, guys. You know what, they've said it, they've spoken, the fans have, you know, they're all in, a, in agreement that Enoch, Levy, it starts from the top. Something's got to happen. I'm getting tired coming as Tottenham and hearing the same old 